and welcome to another week of nerd flow podcast this is issue 132 um man this week it is it you know writing this outline us putting together this outline this was i mean with all the cancellations and stoppage and stuff not happening it was it was Look, it's very depressing. It was for for a minute, and I saw I had to think think for a while to kind of think, see, okay, what the hell can we talk about that's not so depressing about all this stuff being shut down, stopped, not being filmed, all this other stuff. So we're gonna talk about that part, but we're gonna also talk about some you know stuff that's actually coming out as well. But uh, before we get into all of that, we got Young Fly and the rest with us today. What's up, what's up, what's up? We got the boy Briario. What's happening, everybody? And you got myself, Royalty. Tink will be in very soon. The boy Snapback um, was doing some vacationing on the beach and stuff, so he had to, uh, you know, do his 9 to 5, so we'll probably more likely see him next week. And our boy, The Dope Gamer, is still on his uh, break from social media sabbatical, so we'll see him in a future episode. Um, but yeah, man, so there's been so much going on. I mean, for us, you know, how's everybody been, been dealing with this whole thing with the coronavirus thing and all of that? Like what, what, what's been, I know we're in different locations for those who don't know, you know, in relation to the flow pocket, if you're new to listening, um, I'm in Houston, so I have a different situation here. I'm in a bigger city, um, like Briario. And young, they're in Mississippi, so there's Man. a whole different situation as well. So, how's that going? How's that going down over there? The kids out of school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that's and the kids out of school. Walmart ain't got nothing. They like, they had to close our Walmart to restock. Yeah, see, okay, so that's kind of like the sucky part about being in a smaller town is that. Especially, you know, where we grew up at, it's that there's not that many options. And then the, the biggest option that everybody can go to, that's where everybody's going to. I mean, the grocery stores were out of stock on a lot of stuff, too. Like, yeah. we got, like, five or six grocery stores here. Yeah. You yeah. know, so, I mean... Even the Dollar Generals and Family Dollars, like... Like, like everybody had to restock, and you know we got a Dollar General hub right down the street. Yeah. And my um my 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 dad works there, and he was just like, man, they got us working so much overtime trying to keep these stores stocked. So like they they filling up whole trucks with new supplies every day. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's. But then the the funny thing is, people that went and bought up a lot of stuff so they could go on Amazon and sell it, and price gouge. Amazon won't even let them sell it because they price gouge and trying to like one dude had bought up so much bleach, he was trying to sell bleach for eight dollars a bottle. Jesus. Like. You trying to sell the little, and I ain't talking about the gallon bleach. I'm talking about the little bottle of bleach. And like, I think he was trying to sell gallon bleach for like twelve dollars a bottle. And Amazon was like, "Nah, we ain't gonna let you run with that player." Yeah, Shut down. Of, yeah, yeah, a lot of that, like, they're not like they even before this whole thing even just went escalated as fast as it did. Um, I would say what that was like Thursday, like Thursday and Friday, like stuff just like escalated like super fast. Uh, around the world with this whole thing and like a lot I mean I know even before all this like went crazy like they even like a lot of government even said they like look we're not like they're not going for this whole like raise the prices on everybody on water and all this other stuff you know you know yeah try to, try to capitalize so they they really putting they're trying to really put a stop to that so I don't even know why half of these knuckleheads thought that was a great idea to do uh man uh I say here um it's been super nuts. Um, I know like HEB, which is a Texas, uh, which is a Texas grocery chain here in Texas. 
Um, I went like Friday morning um, to do some shopping. So I got up maybe, I got up like maybe five, five in the morning. Got to the grocery store around about like 6.15, 6.30. Freaking just parking lot was like out the wazoo. Like it would be like on like the week going into Thanksgiving. That's how packed it was that early in the morning. And freaking lines just like from the checkout wrapped around through like no, I know nobody knows the diagram of the store that I went, but it's like it was like way over by like the dairy section, which is like on the far, far walls of the. Everybody kind of know like dairy and milk and all that stuff is always on the walls of the stores, but it was, it was wrapped pretty far. And I was in there. I didn't get out of that store till like maybe like nine a.m. I was in. I was in line for about a good hour and thirty minutes, and I was done with what I needed to get. And I kind of got most of what I needed, aside from tissue, but I got smart about it and stuff like that. Freaking, you know, wet wipes and. Napkins, yeah. So, um, but nah, man, this is this crap has been stupid, crazy, stupid, stupid, crazy. Um, before we get into all the stuff, all the like pop culture stuff, the stuff we talk about on Nerdflow podcast that uh, that that's gonna that's really being affected by all of this coronavirus craziness going on. Uh, we want to first and foremost do a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, Nerdflow podcast is available on all major podcast platforms. It is a press play network podcast. And what that means is it is a part of a group of awesome podcasts like the hip hop rejects three Kings. Um, and so you can go check those out anytime on any major podcast platform. Uh, Nerdflow podcast is, uh, as far as from social media standpoint, we're on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook. We also got a Facebook group. Uh, you can go and check that out as well. If you want to just, hang out and in our community we meme a lot of stuff we um it's a lot of news bits that come through uh our particular community so if you just want to be up on up in the know from video games anime um comic book tv shows all that good stuff uh you can kind of get a lot of information or if you just got like a general question had like a classmate of ours uh me and young's that had asked a question like like an in-game uh type question that's out of the blue and I saw it on my town I'm like hey bro shot them a link to the group I'm like I need you to join the group you ask them type of question if we can could easily answer that question for you if you join the Nerdflow podcast group just saying um then we got ask Nerdflow podcast and Nerdflow art you can send that over to Nerdflow podcast at gmail.com we also have a YouTube channel we are currently at 44 subscribers trying to hit 100 we're almost so close so please make sure uh, if you listen to the show and you're new to listen to the show, or if you have YouTube premium, this particular show goes live um, right after we record it and goes to our YouTube channel. So if you have YouTube premium, you can listen to us uh, through your YouTube premium account and just listen because it's just the audio version for the most part. Um, so you can listen to us on there if you're more a fan of YouTube that way. And we got 50% off Nerdflow t shirts. We got the current logo that we currently use now and we also got Nerdflow hoodies in our store as well so there's a link in the description of this show whether it's on YouTube or any of the podcast services you can go and go straight to the official Nerdflow t-shirt and say 50% that way you can use the promo code NF2020 and also put a link for the actual shop itself so if you want to look for more than just t-shirt got you on there too and if you want to support the show Show us some love. Looking to get some nice nerd swag or anything that's comic book related. Uh, we got the affiliate with superhero stuff.com popping off. Don't just use the superhero stuff.com and go there and think it's going to support us. You got to use the link in the description of each and every show. And I put it in every description of the show. So you click that link and that link will take you to superhero stuff.com. But when you buy stuff, we get a nice kickback off of whatever you buy and they have supports the show all right peoples what's up team saw you pop in um oh, for so I heard we... your, your fiasco on the heb yeah i tried to go in like two days ago uh-huh. and the line was like two about three blocks down just to get into oh. the store so which one did you go to? Because I know you stay. I know you stay like in Cypress. Did you go to like the the newer HEB that's kind of like the, way up, Fry? 
Yeah, it's like right before you get to Tuckerton, uh-huh. like right after Tuck- Tuckerton. Oh, I I went to that one. <laughs> it's like literally everybody that's staying in that little subdivision across from there is probably like in the damn store. Exactly, <laughs> like everybody in that surrounding area was inside that store. Jeez. So yeah, I didn't I I didn't even bother. I just Man, went around. I'll give y'all a tip on the on the tissue situation though. If you are still looking for tissue, and this came from like the local news here, they literally said like for example, they gave the example, like Target is uh if you go to Target, go through the app, and you just pick a location that's near you, uh it'll tell you if it's if it's in you know if they have that particular tissue you're looking for available. Uh, now the the time for pickup may be long as hell because I think last time I checked is like four hours, but. I mean, it's aside from the two hours that you normally have to wait in regular circumstances, and when it ain't a freaking see, I'm glad I buy stuff like I'm glad I buy stuff like that in bulk anyway. Like back in December, went down to Sam's and bought like two of the like real big packs that got like about like about twelve of the four packs of tissue in it. So like I got the thing is I typically do, but you know at that time I was like, dude, what's the reason why? I mean, like I got I got tissue and paper towels because like and, and paper plates and stuff. Like I buy this stuff in bulk because like a lot of people always like we have family gatherings over here, so I buy that stuff just to be stocked on it because we have family gatherings over here. Yeah, man, I was like with the. It's like I just wasn't understanding the whole the whole water and tissue thing. I'm just like, but I buy water like that too because I don't drink tap water. Like you yeah, don't want to I mean, go most, to. The- I mean, most people are gonna be. I mean, most right. people are gonna be fine that that typically normally buys that type of stuff. But it was just like it was just mind boggling to me. Like, oh, why is everybody buying water and tissue? It's like. It's like why? Like, but I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell y'all the birth up thing about it though. Like my mom, like you remember when uh well people around here when Fred's was closing, like my mom pretty much went about like from every went to pretty much every Fred's store and pretty much bought all them folks bleach and washing powder. <laughs> so as far as bleach, <laughs> like I got like three cases of bleach in my storage room. My mom probably got about fifteen cases in her house and like she gave some to my auntie she gave some to my uncle so like as far as like bleach like we straight (laughs) I think the whole like hysterical part is that we believe like the people believe like everything is going to shut down so we're not going to have access to none of these stores. That's what for like it is. A couple of weeks. Yeah. I think that's where the craziness came from. Because like today, I went to the mall today. Uh, I just wanted to get some new chucks. The Converse store was closed. I'm like, closed until when? Like, you know, you just, you just don't know when these people are really going to just shut down. Yeah. But the so, thing is, they just don't. Nobody wants to mess around and get sick. Yeah, exactly. Because in a lot, because in a lot of cases, like for example, the Converse store, or even like for the like today, Verizon, uh, one that I was near, I turned out, I, I kind of was turning and, and driving, going to a Kroger's, and mm-hmm. I was like, uh, man, Verizon closed on a Sunday. I'm like, ah, uh, they like they closed for their employees or whatever. So a lot of companies just trying to really protect their protect their employees from you know because. It's a lot of human interaction and the place, the particular place I'm employed at, I'm still wondering why they haven't shut it down because it's a lot of human interaction. Not in my position that I'm in because I'm typically in the back, but it's like I'm I'm asking myself, I'm like, bro, why are we still open? And then on top of that, my company has actually even said that if in the situation of quarantine, of any sort of anything like that, they got our back being paid for up to two weeks. So it's like, just shut it down until this crap gets sorted out or whatever. They gonna try to get the most work out of y'all they can before they shut it down. Ain't nobody put it this way. And I, I said, this junk got a lot. I said, bro, 
There ain't nothing that we selling in this <laughs> mud right now that has any need for anybody that got the freaking coronavirus. Zero. <laughs> zero zero needs. A refrigerator is about each. Hey, <laughs> hey yo, I walked at Office Depot today. <laughs> and Office Depot usually have a lot of like people don't think go to Office Depot and get your tissue and toilet yeah, paper. Exactly. So you gotta think out the box, man. And hand sanitizer. <laughs> And hand sanitizer and stuff like wow. that. Somebody must have put the word wow. out that Office Bro, Depot dude, has. I, was even, I even thought about it myself because, like, oh. since Babies R Us is closed down and you don't have any baby, we have Bye Bye Baby here. So I, was, I thought to myself, like, flushable wipes because they have them for toddlers. Bye Bye Baby. I'm like, freaking genius. Nobody thinks to go to the baby store to get some flushable wipes if you can't find no tissue. You need to get tissue. <laughs> You got to think out the you got to think out the box a little bit. You can't just assume to go to the because I'm pretty sure a lot of people. I'm pretty sure if you probably find some of these. Just I know like back at home, Family Dollar was a place that people hit up. But I have a feeling that Family Dollar probably was not a place a lot of people here probably hit up. They just went to the major, major chains to go, uh, go buy stuff. But like now, like I went to Kroger today. They're out of stuff in different areas. But like man, I went to H E B that morning. I'm talking about. I know we stay in Texas, but bro, as soon as I walked in, I'm like, they they got all the avocados. What the hell? What the like? What what, what, the, what hey. we doing, man? <laughs> I got it. Like, I got it, our, guys. Our Kroger's, like our Kroger's, like legitly has stayed stocked with food. Like Walmart had to shut down to restock, but Kroger's had has stayed stocked with food, like legitly. And it, like the lines have been super long up in there. Yeah, they probably got them trucks rolling, rolling. Because that's what I was saying telling to a lot of people. I was like, H E, like for here in Texas, H E B is going to be the the place you want to go if you're going to try to find if you're just trying to min max your time and find everything you need. Because one is a Texas chain, the headquarters mm-hmm. in San An- the headquarters in San Antonio, and they put out a statement saying that they've already they planned a month in advance when they heard about this. Uh, to prepare for it and so they have a game plan to keep their store stocked which is why they're doing an 8 to 8 schedule here because mm-hmm. the rest of that time is being used to restock the stores uh, and have everything going for the next day. Same thing for Kroger. Kroger is actually a Texas um, is a Texas chain. It's in Shenandoah like north, 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 way north Texas so another one of them that you know typically going Try to keep stock. Walmart. I don't know where Walmart is based out of. I'm not really. Bentonville, sure. Arkansas. I would think y'all wow. would be highly stocked, bro. I really would, because right, I mean, Carver, Carver no, Reed. they shut it down to restock because they weren't prepared for it. But like, they they closed it today for a few hours to restock. But like, my um, cousin, he the uh, store manager. Well, one of the store managers there. He said the trucks coming in. He was like, we was getting trucks every day, probably like once a day. He said we getting trucks every day now, twice, maybe three times a day. Boy, I tell you one thing though. Um, I mean, let's, let's, let's go ahead and get into the topic. Let's just go ahead and just you know jump right on the topic. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, Young put this in about the uh, you know coronavirus being a thing. <laughs> Riario was trying to say. Oh, Riario put that. Oh, okay. Yeah. That sound, when yeah. I read it, I was like, "That sounds like a that sounds like a young uh, topic to put," but that was wrong. Bro, yo, uh, do we think that the coronavirus is being used to boost the world economy? It kind of is right now. I would say it really is. Wow. <laughs> yeah. If you think about it from a standpoint of like brands, like for example, it's a good idea to go buy some Charmin stock right now. Yeah. Or any paper or any tissue company or any water company aside from Dasani because everybody's just like freaking just hating on Dasani right now. It's like acid I water bet, anyway. But right, that's, that's what I wanted to get into. <laughs> I was about to ask y'all, have y'all seen the crazy stuff on in there? Like what people are not buying. It was like if at all. Dasani was one of them. Hey, I, I I'm pretty sure if if water was at a uh, at a pure minimum. Oh, they buy that Dasani, uh, bro. But, but, <laughs> Cause somebody had uh, to show all the different flavors of ramen noodles was gone except the beef flavor. They was like, no matter how it's talk, hard times get, we won't get uh, eat beef, beef ramen noodles, bro. <laughs> bro. Like I buy beef ramen noodles. 
I buy all flavors. Everybody right? like chicken and shrimp. I bro. don't buy the. I don't buy the. I don't buy the cream. The one with the cream flavor. Creamy, yeah, the creamy chicken. Nah, man, I can't mess with. I don't chicken. buy that. That's like on. That's like borderline cream corn. But anyway. But but like when it comes to ramen noodles, like I don't even make ramen noodles the way you're supposed to make because I always soup mine up to make it almost like ramen. Ramen, <laughs> right. exactly. Mine always be soup. It it never be dry. Right, mine, mine it, it depends on how I feel. Mine is mostly, I always leave a little bit of water just so the seasoning can spread good on it. But mm-hmm. I typically like drain my majority out because I wanted to, most of the time I wanted to be just new. This some case like recently, I had some ramen just because I had some at the house and I did it in soup form because I not rarely do but, it that way. But see, I keep vegetable, chicken, and beef stock on hand in the house. So like when I do do my my ramen noodles, like I'm gonna boil my noodles in stock, and then I'm gonna seed before I put the noodles in there. I'm gonna season the stock up with some most with some most seasonings and stuff. Drop my noodles and probably you no know, probably drop a little shrimp in there or something. You know, like I you I just can't be basic with it no more. <laughs> um, but no, nah, I mean back to the question with that. I mean. Yeah, I kind of feel because, like, prime example of people who are working in these grocery stores getting a lot of overtime, these grocery stores being super duper packed. So, you know, employees having to work, you know, longer, longer hours, getting more overtime. The grocery stores are making more money. Brands are making more money because people are just buying their stuff because of in the feel of need of possibly being, you know, the city being quarantined or, the, or just the United States is going to be in quarantine. Yeah, and then you got to look at the medical field too. Like those folks is finished off. Like they making medical equipment, making these tests, like the, um, the company that makes Lysol and the company that makes bleach and all that. Like mm-hmm. these folks is like ramping up production. And I hate this commercial. Oh, it's disgusting. Uh, but uh, yeah, like the folks making money, like even and- even some other things like with uh with the Stafford uh act that they imposed on you know putting fifty billion dollars into the you know spreading it out into companies to help like for example where I work they're gonna anybody that's either affected by the virus or anything like that. You're going to automatically be guaranteed to get, you know, two weeks worth of pay if you can't come to work for whatever reason, that type of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, freaking companies. Uh, but it's I- a stipulation in that bill, though. Oh, yeah. Company, companies with over 500,000 employees are not obligated to pay their employees sick pay. Oh, OK. Uh, I mean, in a lot of in a, I mean, really, in a lot of cases. A lot of these companies are doing a lot of goodwill. It would be, it would almost really be in their, it'd be a detriment to them not to do the correct thing with all of this going on, I would say. Um, Because like, for example, um, cell phone companies are not charging late fees for 60 days. Uh, Internet, ISP companies, internet companies, providers are not charging, are not disconnecting services. Uh, Even if you're behind or whatever reason, if you, you know, you're out of work, they're trying to, like work on stuff like if you have a company, if you by chance end up working for somebody and you the business does have to close down for whatever reason, working on things to try to you can actually almost you mean know, working on things where you can kind of file for unemployment that type of thing. So they're trying to, I mean, this is this is crazy, kind of crazy that they're trying. And then you know, student loan companies, if you're paying back student loans, uh, you're not gonna collect any interest or anything like that. So. For not being able to pay that type of thing, so it's like it's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. And I think the the next thing that I actually read today, um, there's a possibility they're trying to work on to not have us to pay um, uh, taxes on our wages for the remainder of the year, just to get not people, it. Get people, kind of, get, get people kind of boost on their on their paychecks. See, see that right there is just Trump trying to get reelected. Hey, could be man. Um, but yeah, so I mean, yeah, I mean to answer that question, I think it's I think it's kind uh, kind of pour money back into because 
I mean, from a standpoint, I mean, the economy hasn't been, you know, all that great if you look at it from if that's something that you pay attention to. Um, but, yeah, so um, to continue with the theme of coronavirus, um, Disney Plus has halted production on Falcon and the Winter Soldier and WandaVision. Um, <gasps> Fifty Cent then halted production on all his shows too. Yep. Um, I mean, with I mean, with the Disney shows, it's probably going to end up just probably end up realigning itself back with the original dates that they had before they brought they pushed them up because a lot of these shows were supposed to come out twenty twenty one anyway. Yeah. Um. So it may just reback, may line back up with the original dates they had because I know they were trying to push for me. We will guarantee to get um, Mandalorian because that just wrapped like not too long ago for season two. So we know we're getting that in, what is it? I think it's October. So I know we're getting that for sure. Um, what's the other show? Uh, have they, I don't think they even started filming low key yet. At least I don't think they have. I don't have read anything. Man, you said it like it was like it was two separate words, low key. <laughs> I mean, I said, low key. That's how you said it, though, bro. Like, a lot of like, people say it. I think a lot of people say it like that, not, um, not intentionally, but I think just purposely, because you know when you say the word in context, it's like low key. Man, <laughs> man I was low key. Uh. <laughs> anyway, man. Um, but yeah, so we, so we got that. Netflix has halted production of um of of, of uh, production for a lot of their shows. Yeah. Um. So movies that have been moved, which they've been moved to dates indefinitely that we don't even freaking know when they're coming out. New Mutants has been moved for probably the fourth, fifth, or sixth time. I can't really hey, recall because I don't have a graphic. I'm just so sick of that movie. Just, just grab it. <laughs> it won't don't die. even bring it up. <laughs> It won't. It won't die, and, and I'm, yeah, I, I, I would have to. I would have to applaud them if it become, ends up being great. I will say that. Like, they didn't put Mulan back. They didn't push Black Widow back. They didn't push. Well, Black Widow hasn't. No, Black Widow hasn't. Black Widow's the only one that hasn't been pushed. Oh, back. it still has May first. Everybody's kind of like wait. Black Widow's in the holding pattern because they're in full, full blown market marketing right now for that movie and. For them to just be like, nope, it's not coming. They, you know, they, 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 they hand already out already. They got to do. They got to figure uh, something out. So, like all the movies that was kind of supposed to be coming out between now and May, probably itself, Black Widow been pushed back. We're probably mm-hmm. not gonna have no summer. You know how we have the summer movies. We're probably not gonna have no summer movies. Or either, mm-hmm. either B. The movie industry is going to probably end up going. If this coronavirus thing lasts through the summer of 2020, um, we're probably going to be in a situation of kind of like where I was. Christmas is going to be lit. <laughs> where movie, where movie companies, where movie companies are trying to move movies to, which is to digital platform, but just charge a premium price for it to watch it in your home. I have a feeling that's what may end up happening for some of these movies. Um, but then you got Fast, you got Fast Nine, which is got pushed twenty twenty one. They just said screwed it into the rest of the year. They just said we're just gonna just gonna do it next year. Um, so that's a little. Oh uh, yeah, a quiet place too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just you, you took it right out of my mind. Yeah. I was trying to think of it. Yeah, that mm-hmm. that got pushed. I still ain't uh, like, watched the first one. I mean, like I ain't got, gotta watch it. I ain't got know. past the first like ten minutes of it. I always fall asleep or something. The first ten minutes, okay. No, like no. after, like Bruh. after the boy gets snatched up, I end up falling asleep. Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. like when it comes to like horror movies and stuff, like. Uh, like, give me an antagonist. Like, like I need some some characters in it. Oh gosh, I'm sorry, y'all. That's just me. Like, <laughs> I need a Mike or or Fred or or, or Charles Lee Ray. You know, <laughs> a Jason. I need something like that. You know, somebody that's gonna keep me interested in some dumb white folks running and tripping and falling. Well, they were doing that in a quiet place, but it wasn't nothing but a 
alien chasing them, eating them. That's why I don't know if they're aliens or not. It's probably human created something, but I don't, I don't know what it is. I just got to watch it. Oh, uh, let's see what else, man. Um, but no, you got that going on with like the movies. Um, I don't can't remember because this, man, it's, like I said, this week has been such so anime much. been halted. Like new seasons of anime been I, halted. I'm, I'm pretty sure that because that's a lot of that stuff is created. You know, some a lot of animes are created in Asia and. Even like a lot of there's a lot of like gaming studios like for example, uh, Seattle had like a really bad outbreak of coronavirus. Like for example, Bungie uh, that makes Destiny, they kind of like prepped ahead of time and have created like in home studios um, for their for their developers. So a lot, so the, basically the entire company is working remotely on anything that goes on with the game. So like nobody is at the studio but they're all still working on it and you like they've kind of made studios for all their designers and stuff like that uh in home to work from home so that's kind of nuts for to do a studio everybody's remote uh i know a lot of i've been seeing a lot of people wondering about final fantasy 7 square enix um which that being like the game done y'all ain't gotta push it back that's what I'm. That's and that's what I keep telling people in conversations I've been having. I'm like, I don't feel it's gonna be. I, the only thing I feel it will affect. It was like what I what I said because I was talking to a, a friend of me and Teens Kellel. I was telling her I was like, I don't feel it's gonna really like get backed up or anything. I don't think it's gonna be backed up. And if it comes down you to probably the won't have no late night. The, if it comes down you to won't the have no midnight release at GameStop. More yeah, you won't likely. have you won't have that. But if you have a um, if if you have anything like the physical, like the the whatever the ultimate edition with the statue of, of Cloud, that might be delayed. Uh, probably maybe for a long period of time, uh, just to get those out because you know fear contamination, all that stuff, getting the stuff out to, to you know to people and sending it out and all that good stuff. Um, that would be one thing. But if the game is finished. Once it gets sent into PlayStation for their their form of testing and all that stuff, it's it's good as gold to come out, and I'm pretty sure that's probably around the corner for them. But they had to send it into the to the actual video game, the actual console makers to send it in for them to. Put I think that's done since we've been playing the demo. They probably I think so. already I, did that. I believe so too, young. So I don't think it's gonna halt anything. If it halts anything, it'll be the physicals will be probably the most affected. From anything, if anything's get halted. Um, did we? Did we? Okay, so did we? Did E three was E three announced when we did last week's episode? Was it announced that it was canceled? Or we just? I think we were just speculating if, that it more. Yeah, we were speculating. speculating. It was spe- okay. But so got, this week yeah, it's been it, confirmed that E three is canceled. Um, a lot of companies. Um. What's the name of the company that does Warframe? They they announced that their convention TennoCon will be uh, done through a digital platform, which I think that's what everybody, every gaming company is going to do that um, for this year. So everything we're going to see at E3, which I mean, if you can't make it there, you're watching it on YouTube anyway. Anyway, so so it's really un- honestly is no change for you. It's a change for the people that plan on going and bought tickets, but not really too big of a change for. Um, for us, for some of us that not going, um, and just like to be there live and all that stuff. Um, let's see, uh, let's see. I want to kind of flush out the rest of this Corona crap before we go into some good stuff. Um, trying to think what else, what else, what else. Um, all the Comic Cons are canceled. Yeah, from Dallas. Okay, is canceled. okay. That's what I was wondering because I saw a tweet from them. And I missed it, and I didn't get a chance to go back. So that's what that tweet was about, like about two days ago. Yes, okay. my heart broke. That's what I figured. I, I told I you I, that was coming. I, I know it because it's it. in April. Well, like, like y'all gotta see, like, just today, the CDC recommended that no gatherings or fifty people or more for the next eight weeks. Yeah. So. You know, and on the people they excluded from that was jobs <laughs> or and, like businesses and schools. So, yeah, you know, they're just like no gatherings of fifty people or more for the next eight weeks. So they had to shut down. Yep. 
Yep, like yep. theaters finna be closed. Like every like stuff, all that stuff finna be closed, man. So and see, and that's why I think the whole tissue fiasco came about. Like tissue, the water, all that stuff. Yeah, everybody feeling like, oh, you can't, you know, you can't go anywhere. You can't, you know, because mm-hmm. you can't be in a certain. But those people. of you with children, spend some quality time with your children now. Bro, it is people. Okay. <laughs> it is people still like my wife was telling me she was like, she's seeing people take their kids to cosmic air. I'm like, that is like not the place you should be taking your child right now. That is a, that is, that is like, germ, unless you're is, in the healthcare is germ profession. Jumping. Like unless like all healthcare professions is gonna be going to work, so like I'm still gonna be going to dialysis and stuff, all that. Like, the, but like, are, but people are like, but the funny thing about it though, people with kids is like, but you got some people, some parents say, well, what are we supposed to do with the with the kids? You're not supposed to be out. Mm-hmm. You know, you need to be not in like super like, crowded public places. So some jobs. Down. Some jobs are paying like for their employees' child care, yeah, or you yeah. know they'll get a reimbursement for child care because if you got to go to work. Yeah. But like if your job shut down, you got to sit at home with your kids. Yeah. yeah. I'm waiting for the. I'm waiting for them to just be like, okay, we shutting down because some folks know how bad their kids is and be one them eight hours away from their shit. <laughs> <laughs> true that. True exactly. That. <laughs> yeah. Man, let me tell you, man. They're going to be ball- sitting up there just going crazy. I can't wait till you little mother go back to school. Oh, I'm going to kill somebody. Oh. Man, let me like- tell you, like, my, like, dude, my, my boss is, like, the funniest thing because he's super paranoid about this whole thing. And he is, like, if anyone, he's like, if any one of y'all sneeze, I'm sending you home. Like he's like he's <laughs> not a joke. He's like, oh, you sick? Oh, you need to go home. No questions asked. You are not going to get the rest of us sick. He's like, go home. But they remember that post somebody said they don't even say bless you no more. They just stare at you. Yep. <laughs> so I wonder if folks still, if these girls still are going to these Asian nail ticks. Oh, my, oh, it was funny. It was funny. It was a conversation with my uh, my sister in law. She was like. She's like, she said this day, she was like, man, they closed down the nail shop. I got to pop my nails off because I can't go get my, <laughs> that's like, mm, it's kind of true. <laughs> won't be getting that, won't be getting that feeling for a couple of, for a couple months now. <laughs> Damn. Uh-uh. <laughs> go all natural. <laughs> now I'm down, shut down the barbershop. Bro. Oh, that'll be a nightmare for me. <laughs> Need to go get that done ASAP <laughs> before they do that. <laughs> Boys the barbershop, this. like when I go to the barbershop, never more than 10 people in there. We good at the barbershop. <laughs> as long as you don't go to one of them big, nice, fancy barbershops, then you ain't got no, nothing No, we don't about. do that. We go to Clay Street Barbershop. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no more than five dudes in them look at a time. Had a time. <laughs> man, we good. <laughs> oh, man. Um, okay, so... Um, Let's talk about some interesting stuff now. Um, no, well, hold on. I got two more things, then We can do that. Um, in addition to that, too, I mean, this. so for PC players, Steam hit a concurrent high this week uh, in active players, which is not surprising because, uh, I mean. People stuck in the house. Stuck in the house. <laughs> ain't, got, ain't got a whole lot to do. Uh, yeah, they had concurrently over 20 million people on Steam. Uh, you would have thought Stadia would have had an increase too, though. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> boy, boy, okay, uh, young, go to Twitter. And I'm go not to, fit to. I already go, know. I already to, know. Go, I'm just trying to bring some positivity. Uh, go, to, uh, go to Stadia's Twitter. Oh, I was just trying to... They had a post like recently about a day or so ago, and dude, it's in like the single digits. Somebody responded, and somebody put in the comments. They was like, "Man, for this to be a le- legit Twitter for state, I would have thought there'd be more activity going on in this post right now." I'm like, nah. yeah, I've been, I've been kind of like because I was thinking about you know messing with stadia but then you know i started reading stuff and everything i was just like nah i think i'm gonna be good on that yeah the, the closest <laughs> the closest thing the closest thing in the near future that's going to be really viable is going to be xcloud I, that's like the only thing that's going to be truly viable 
uh, like in working fashion because Microsoft, one is Microsoft, um, and Microsoft is testing the crap out of uh, X Cloud as far as with a lot of their, a lot of their stuff. They've tested it heavily on Android recently. They just moved the the beta to iPhones now. Um, and being able to, you know, remotely play from anywhere. They've been using games like Destiny because it's so heavy in, you know, um, graphics and everything. And then using stuff like, uh, I think for iPhone, they got like uh, Halo Master Chief Collection is what they've been using uh, as for what people can beta test. I think, well, Android Matter has like fact, the whole library. Hey, y'all right checked out y'all uh, iPhone users. Y'all checked out Apple New <laughs> Arcade. Uh, I have not. Apple Arcade to me is a it's a joke oh. to me. Just saying. Ah, I figured. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a joke to me, honestly. Like from my standpoint, because I'm just you know I'm of a higher level of gamer. I mean, I mess with some mobile games here and there, whatever. Like Seven Deadly Sins on mobile is a great game. Like graphic wise, the cutscenes. Like to give me a a RP like a, a turn based RPG with great cutscenes that got the graphics like it's on PlayStation Four on my mobile. Mm-hmm. That's dope to me. Yeah, yeah, most definitely, most definitely. But I mean, just when that when they announced that, man, I just kind of like really. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Like the Apple TV Plus thing was kind of like shaking my head a little bit, but then I started to see like a lot of the advertisement for a lot of the shows that they're producing through Apple TV Plus. Um, and so a lot of the shows look very interesting, which kind of makes me want to subscribe. Yeah, to yeah. Yeah, yeah, Apple TV got some good shows like yeah, that, that yeah, I've seen that I'm like, yo, I want to check that out. Yeah. So like stuff like that, that kind of like how they've been advertising, it makes me want to. But the like with the arcade part, I was like, nah, bro, I'm okay. I got I, I got Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and PlayStation now. That's way more robust, um, way more better offerings. Uh, Call of Duty Warzone came out this week. Uh, it is the battle royale mode for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Um. I think it's 125 or 100 or 150 players on one big large map elimination style. Um, I played. I it. saw the gameplay. Uh huh. Yo, that made me want to go buy that Call of Duty. Well, it's well, it's free right now. No, what I'm saying is, like, I don't have Call of Duty Modern. I mean, Modern Warfare. I don't have it. You don't have to have it. Oh, okay. Well, you know I'm saying you don't you don't have to. So with, with uh, I'm just get back into Destiny. Don't don't distract me from it. I know. Well, I'm just saying, but you don't have to have the actual game itself. Like currently at the moment, it is it is free to it is free. And if you're on PlayStation, you do not have to have PSN to play either. Xbox, you do have to have Xbox Live. Cause like when I um, cause I'm just letting everybody know, like. When I get Final Fantasy VII, I'm going on hiatus. I probably don't even talk about nothing but Final Fantasy VII when it gets to the show, because I probably wouldn't have been played paid attention to nothing else. Yeah, that's that's a fact. That is a fact. Um, <laughs> like we probably gonna have a whole show dedicated to just our reactions to playing <laughs> Final Fantasy VII. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Spawn, uh, Mortal Kombat 11 dropped a teaser actually last week during our recording of episode uh, 131. Um, dropped a teaser trailer for Spawn coming to Mortal Kombat 11, which is the last character in pack one. Um, Spawn is the coldest character on Mortal Kombat 11 right now, bro. Those yeah. that, that, that fatality with that cape, man. like, I'm, I'm just I, after watching the Spawn trailer, Spawn is not playing, bro. It's so, he's so fluid. Like I'm ready for the new movie. Yeah, yeah. I heard it. I heard it's getting some getting some movement, some even more movement on it. 
Or, Especially since um, the Joker did such a really good, um, really good being rating. Rated R. Really good being R. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's funny how they you know how movies tend to like they backtrack and then they go forward and they backtrack. You know when it comes mm-hmm. to the whole rated R thing, and it's like okay, Joker was rated R. And it yeah. won, you know, won this and this award, and which is why Sony kind of backtracked on Venom. But I have a feeling that Venom <laughs> Two is probably gonna they're probably gonna push for an R rating for Venom. See, oh. the thing is, in the beginning, they needed like the first Bond movie. They wanted to be able to market action figures and stuff like that, and they couldn't market action figures and stuff like that with a rated R rating. It's like, bro, now, Venom don't get no action figures. Spider-Man get action figures. Right. Venom, no, mm-hmm. Venom no, no action figures. He is what he is. It's, there's no action figures for him. It's like, oh, I want to get that Punisher action figures. No, this fool blows people's heads off. He don't get no action figures. I mean, <laughs> Punisher, they always. Punisher, Venom, they didn't always had, you know, all Spider-Man villains and characters didn't always had action figures. Even the, the most bloody and, you know, destructive ones but like Spawn up, wasn't meant, <laughs> like even in the beginning when Spawn was a comic book it wasn't meant for kids no it was never meant for no. uh-uh. it was yeah, supposed to be a graphic novel for adults yeah then you got the uh, then you also got like the McFarlane figures which were like the like the best part about the about the Spawn yeah. action figures were like the lead best part that's just like the that's just like the tick. The tick wasn't originally meant for kids. No, no, not at all. Not at all. I started to think Rocco's Modern Life wasn't originally meant for kids. Speaking of, there's a McFarlane figure for Spawn for Mortal Kombat 11. The exact Where's one. Rocco wasn't. You said who? Rocco's Modern Life. Oh yeah, when you and Snap told me about the whole "Oh baby, oh baby" scene, I was yeah, like, my he mind, was uh... my mind imploded. <laughs> He, he 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 was yeah that was his his job and yeah. they you know Red and Stimpy ended up being moved to MTV. Oh, we knew that was all day. It's just we didn't give a damn. We knew it was <laughs> like parents like parents these days like these new parents would lose their shit if something like Ren and Stimpy came on t- came on Nickelodeon. Oh yeah, Most you got you got to remember. These this content is created by adults. These animators are adults when they're making this stuff. No, nah, bro. Like, I, what I'm saying is, like, a lot of people say, like, I'm wrong for saying this, but like, I feel like these kids these days are too sheltered. Like, we got adults of real life when we were kids. We didn't. We didn't go through life thinking everything was hunky dory. We knew better. It's the technology that has the perfect movie. I think that summed it up was the robot Disney movie when everybody was on their like phones. Oh, Wally, Wally, yeah. Wally. That is exactly. I've never I seen that movie. Really, really, <laughs> and <laughs> it relates so much to what's going on right now. That's yeah. very true. That is very true. Um, let me see here. Let me get back to into the, okay. Um, on the coronavirus thing again, uh, WWE uh, did had their well, they're they have a show called SmackDown. It's on Fox. Uh, they actually did a empty show, an empty show, or I mean, an empty arena show in front of no fans. That there, they have like a training performance center in like Florida. So they did the episode there just to you no know. No folks was practicing. <laughs> it, it, it kind of that's almost what it kind of felt like but the thing the, the funny thing about it like watching it uh it was like these people just like they just straight performed like they was in a uh you know in a front of a crowd of people you know they weren't um but yeah so that's i mean that's really like like the corona thing is definitely affecting the wrestling industry because you know of course fan interaction you know all that type of stuff you can easily you know they can easily definitely catch something from somebody uh, with fan interaction, what they that they deal with. Um, For Honor um, has a Prince of Persia event coming on, uh, going on, which um, it hey. kind of, huh? No, no, you going? 
Uh, they have a Prince of Persia event going on within their game. It's crazy that Fawn has been around for like four years, and I remember they was like with pitchforks trying to say, trying to shut that game down because it was like it had so many problems. But it's like in year four now. Um, because I saw the I saw the tweet on Twitter and it said I'm like this dude and I came across the graphic and it was like I'm like this dude looked like a kind of like a Prince of Persia type of this Prince of Persia and, I, and lo and behold I read it and I was like a Prince of Persia event and so I'm like can we possibly be getting a Prince of Persia game soon? Um, hopefully so. That's one of the games that's been missing. I think that should have been the cycle that Ubisoft should have been doing between the Assassin's Creed games. Honestly, give us a little give us a Prince of Persia one year, <laughs> Assassin's Creed one year. I'm going to tell you about human. I'm going to tell you about humans. Why is the wow. movie Outbreak number <laughs> seven on Netflix top ten? Okay, let's, let's, let's talk it. about that, bro. I okay, I was straight. clicking that too. <sighs> okay. I watched it two days straight last night and the day before that. Yeah, what? I might as well start watching World War Z. This, yeah. uh, the, uh, why I am did, legend. Why? Why did they put movies like that on? Like what? Why? Exactly. Why? Like why would you put Outbreak? Why would you put? There's another movie on there called Pandemic, and I'm like, dude, of all the words you could have, like all the movies you probably could have picked, like, dude, just go ahead and put Contagion on there because Contagion yep, will make if you are paranoid is. and you're a germaphobe, just screw it, just jump off a building because you are going to freaking lose your mind when you watch Contagion and see how. A virus is transmitted from person to person. It, it's it's on there. <laughs> it, it is paranoia, dude. It's like, why would y'all even put that on there? You have people that are just, bro. You just can't do that to them. They will freaking lose their mind. Uh-huh. And speaking of people probably losing their mind, or people that uh, the Doomsday Preppers, bro, they had a, they got to be having a field day right now. That's all I'm. Gonna, that's all I'm saying. Uh-huh. Anybody that was like, you know. People that like just making these bunkers, they, they down and they they down and they bunkers right now. Ex- I know, bro. Rejoicing like, oh, it's about yeah. to go down. This is what I planned for. Uh, I, I thought <laughs> I've been waiting on them to get this freeze dry food. <laughs> <laughs> down there cleaning these, their guns. These these rations. <laughs> sharpening their bows. Sharpening their arrows. Toss a coin to you, with you. Mm-hmm. Making sure the camouflage <laughs> paint is still fresh. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. You know it. I'm and just gonna find one to team up with. That's all. Shoot, boy. Now I'm I'll tell you another thing, boys. Boy, if you if you want to want to just see something funny, the game, the division. If you have not, and I'm in the division two uh, community group for the game. Oh, boys, and them are like, man, it's about to be the division two. This is like the dollar flu, bro. Like we forget finna get ready because that's mm-hmm. literally what the game is about. And it's like. Y'all boys really think y'all finna go try for the division, huh? The game is just training, right? Okay. Um, main topic for tonight um, is what if with all the, the coronavirus, if this thing does continue to progress further and stuff like that and it continues to affect the world right now, how would we feel and what would we think and do we think um Will the consoles get pushed back into 2021, which would be... I really don't care if they get pushed back. I really don't. I really don't care if they get pushed back. Because I was probably going to get the second generation anyway. Yeah, I mean, it would just... It would... It would. I mean... Yeah, because honestly, like, for example, for like PlayStation, it doesn't really matter for them, I, I think. It gives them more time to work on it. Um... They have a ten year life cycle anyway. Um, it kind of adds more value to the Xbox One X in a sense because it'll give them a little bit more time with that console being out and stuff like that. Uh, I don't. I mean, some people probably be like, you know, crushed or whatever because they think they're going to a new generation or whatever. But I mean, just how this year started out with games when we were talking about this on. Uh, the end of year episode of Nerdflow, we were even saying like, you know, this year, just so far in these first three months, we really haven't had a whole lot come out. I mean, as far as like <clears throat> new new games, I mean, you had Dragon Ball, you have Kakarot that came out. Um, Neo 2 just recently, I think just recently came out, I believe. I th- I be- yeah, I thought it was at the top of Twitch a couple of days ago. I think it came out on Friday. Um, then you got Doom Eternal coming out this Friday. 
uh, Final Fantasy Seven is April. The Last of Us, I think, is May or June. I think it's May. Um, and it's not. And I think it's another another big game come out in June. But there's not really a lot of stuff stacked up uh, that's coming out. There's a lot of games that's really that's been around, like mainstays, like your Apex, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, uh, Destiny, Fortnite, that are just you know coming with the seasonal updated content that's making people kind of come back into their uh, ecosystems and stuff like that, which I don't too much have a problem with, honestly, but um, I kind of agree with you young on that one. So I don't really, I don't think it's going to really, really hurt too much to uh, not going to really hurt it too much. Um, another question on top of that, though, and to keep it in relations to this whole entire episode about Corona um, for my my movie and TV people, um, do y'all think it's going to hold up the fall seasons? What is that going to do for TV shows? Uh, it might. Yeah, it might. Because I know Black have- Lightning just had their season. Which is on Netflix today. If you, Yeah, just you had their season ending show. And Charm had their season ending show. So, like... If it rolls into the, I would say if it rolls into the summer, like if it rolls into the end of summer, more than likely, yes, because it's going to affect those shows. Because a lot of like the CW shows, for example, tend to record almost in the moment of the shows going on. So, so, so for example, like Flash is probably recording its last episodes like currently right now for the season finale that's going to probably happen in like a month or two. That type of thing, so they tend to they tend to record, you know, uh, do production like in the moment a lot of times. So it could could fall, could potentially could definitely potentially hurt the the release schedule of a lot of these a lot of these shows to come in the fall. It's gonna definitely the, the summer we're fine because everything's ending or everything's been you know either recorded about to be done recording oh. and they're just trying to really finish it out but the fall is where we're going to really kind of see if this thing is still going around it's going to look it ain't going to look good especially uh. when we, especially when we get to August and the NFL ain't rolling hey y'all that live in Houston read this uh, article that's in the Houston Chronicle uh-huh. it's saying Houston schools should stay closed for the rest of the academic year well I know the colleges are they're indefinitely online. Yeah, the education commissioner said, you know, is suggesting that, that they be out of school for the rest of the year. Wow. If <laughs> I am in, if I was a college student right now, I'd be happy. I'm just saying. <laughs> I, 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 I was, no, I'm talking about like the, not just the colleges. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, I know in school in general. But I'm just saying, if I was a college student, like you know how we were in college, man. Like in college, like oh, yeah. oh. Yeah. like oh. like oh, we rolling us straight down line. I ain't feel like getting them nowhere. Take know how it was when we had Katrina when we was in college. <laughs> we had a long vacay. <laughs> shoot, man. I like if I was shoot, I was definitely kind of, oh, it got switched to online. Oh, good. How long we was out of school with no classes, not even online classes? Tank. Well, we was out of school probably a month. I walk right back to our place. Yeah. We was out of school a month. <laughs> we couldn't take no online. We barely had power. We didn't have no power for at least two weeks. And he was third world in Hattiesburg. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Well, college trees well, everywhere. I put it this way though. I mean, colleges. I mean, colleges will typically be okay because they still. I mean, whether you online or physically, then you're still paying tuition regardless. Um, the public school is kind of what I kind of worry about with like the teachers and stuff like that. How that how that's going to work and how they're going to compensate like the teachers. I know we got a lot of like close friends of ours that are teachers as an occupation. So I'm wondering. Yeah. I'm kind of wondering how that's going how that's going to work out in their favor with it being online. I mean, is it less work and you still getting paid for it? Because when you online, you just put the curriculum, you just post it, and you're done. And then you turn around and once they turn it in, you just go grade it and you're done. You ain't got to have no interaction with nobody. So I'm just wondering, wondering how that, how that's going to happen. Oh, and if the, the, you know, the like schools 
the end of the day, if they don't have a system in place, colleges have a system in place, but colleges colleges have an online system in place, but like high schools and elementary schools don't have an online system in place that doesn't exist for them. So it's like, would some of these schools build one to support it? Or would it be a waste of money? Like, I wonder how would that work? Because kids still got to get their knowledge, man. You know, you going to, are you going to freaking push all the kids that were in, you know, third or fourth grade to the fifth and sixth grade based off because of coronavirus? Or are they going to have to redo their year of school again? How does it go? No, work? some folks finna, some folks finna lose a whole summer. Some kids finna lose a whole yeah. summer. Yeah. That's what I fear. I think it's gonna, by them being out now, it's gonna drag it into the summer. Mm-hmm. And they're just gonna roll and go to a whole new grade soon as August, September here. All right, now you're in this grade now. Yep. No, no break. Yep. 2020. Boy, boy's gonna, uh, boy's gonna live life to the fullest once 2021 summer hit. <laughs> <laughs> once this thing is gone. <laughs> man, so. Oh, man. This is going to be nuts. Um, so, haven't okay. Just a real update before we end this issue, though. Uh, we haven't got any update from Comic Palooza. Um, like I said, like I said on the previous issue, we will be monitoring it. Uh, if, like I said, if it's still a thing, man, we, you know, I, I'm gonna be, we gonna be working. I, I want us to probably try to do something on the digital platform of Twitch or either our Facebook page digitally uh, to kind of do something special um for something that we were going to try to do at comic palooza so uh once we get more information see how this thing we we won't we probably won't make an announcement probably till mid-april to kind of know what the situation is and then we'll kind of play it play it from there because more day is about two 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 months away so we still got a little bit of time so um but yeah, man, we're gonna bring this issue of Nerd Flow podcast to a close. Bring issue uh, one thirty two to a close. Um, next week we'll be doing issue one thirty. What did I say? One thirty two. I'm like freaking losing my train of thought right now. One thirty. One thirty three. One thirty three. One thirty three. One thirty three. Okay, we're doing one thirty three next week, and uh, we will catch you guys next week. And hopefully, no more cancellations of stuff, man. Hopefully, we got good news next week. So, we'll see. But uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Mm-hmm. <laughs>